Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Since Adobe released Photoshop 2021 in the new Sky Replacement feature, I've received a couple emails from people that are having some issues with it. In this video, we're going to talk about those issues and I'm going to offer some solutions. We're going to jump right into the first problem. I have this image here and I want to replace this guy. So I'm going to go up to Edit, down to Sky Replacement, and I'll let it use the default sky that I happen to have active. And you probably could see the problem right away. Uh, inside of these windows, it really didn't fully replace the existing sky that we could see through those windows with the new sky. So what you want to do is go over here to the sky replacement dialog. And on the left here, we have a set of tools. You want to go to the second tool from the top. That's simply a brush. And you could see that when you make that active, you have some attributes at the top left. You have whether you want to paint in the adjustment, out the adjustment. You also could change the size, hardness of the brush, the type of brush you're using there, and the mode, and opacity. Now, by default, it's going to have the plus brush. It's going to have a hardness at 50% of a round brush. It's going to have overlay, of, overlay, it's going to be in overlay mode, and it's going to be at an opacity of 50%. Now, what you could do is just try that. We want to paint in the new sky. So we want to use the plus brush. And I'll get a smaller brush by using the left bracket key to make it a bit smaller. If you want to make it larger, use the right bracket key. Now, as I start to paint in with this brush, you could see that it's starting to bring that existing sky, the new sky, into the old or into the windows. Let's put it that way. I just could tell that I could bring opacity for this up to 100 and then I could come in and I could just paint in that new sky and I'll just stay and because I'm in overlay mode it's not really uh, going to affect it too much if I paint let's say or accidentally paint on the actual wood of this lighthouse or fake lighthouse so we could come in and then paint this in wherever we need it I could get a smaller brush when needed by hitting that left bracket key and paint it in there, paint it in there, paint it in there, there. I think it's already there, actually. There, there. And you can see. So we want to be in overlay mode for this. What opacity you use will depend on your image. And this image here, I could tell that opacity of 100% works fine. So now you can see I, I very easily uh, painted in the new sky in those windows. So we'll click OK. And we have the layers there. Now, the second issue is, is similar. Uh, what happens sometimes is the sky gets put where you don't want it. And you need to remove it from those areas. Now, for this demonstration, I have this image. And what I actually did, uh, this is where the Buffalo Sabres play, the arena where the Buffalo Sabres play. I'm not sh even sure what they call it anymore, all right? Because they kept changing the name. I think it's called Key Bank Arena. Uh, but I uh, painted the roof of the building bluish so it kind of matches the sky. I did that because I didn't have an image that actually duplicated this problem. So I had to make this image uh, capable of duplicating this issue. All right, so let's just go up to edit and go to sky replacement. And of course, we'll use that default sky. You can see how now that sky is where I don't want it, right? And just for the sake of argument, maybe we'll pick a different one. And maybe that's a better example. I think this was maybe the best example right here. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe this one. Yeah, that's the probably the best example right there. Now you could see how that sky is where we don't want it. So what we need to do is go back to this brush. We want to go over here and we want to remove the sky from that area. So we're going to click the minus brush. We'll stay with a round brush with 50% hardness. Now you could try overlay mode, but I really need to just totally remove this from the sky. So I'm going to use a different blend mode for the brush. I'm just going to use the normal mode and we're going to have opacity at 100. Now, because I'm using the negative brush, I'll use the right bracket key, a real large one. You could see that when I paint, I'm painting back in the actual roof of the building and it kind of looks funny again because I uh, did a really haphazard job of changing the color of the roof 
Now I'm just going to do it to a duplicate layer so we could see what I mean. So we'll click OK. Now you could see that. See how the roof is kind of weird looking because I didn't really do a good job. But then we see the sky. So that's how you do it. So if you have a sky going on areas of the image you don't want it to go to, just go to that brush. You're going to use a negative brush. You could try overlay mode. By default, it'll be in overlay mode at 50%. You could try that. But if it's a, uh, something like this where you need to remove it totally, just use normal mode and put it at 100% and just paint it away, brush it away. So I hope that helps those of you that had some issues with this new sky replacement feature that's in Photoshop 2021. In my opinion, it's, it's, it's a um, work in progress. I still think that it needs some tweaks. It needs to be improved here and there. And we've seen that before when there's been new things introduced into Photoshop, they tend to improve with, with each subsequent release of Photoshop. So I expect that this will improve um, when we see some new updates in Photoshop. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.